what is the great issue between the free world and the communist world. Let them come to Berlin. citizens of Berlin. And therefore, as a free man, I take pride in the word, Ich bin ein Berliner. You're watching BBC Two. And now, live from the other side of the world, the Australian Grand Prix, introduced by Steve Ryder. Good evening. First of all, congratulations for being with us at this unearthly hour. And whether you made it via the late night movie, the all night party, or the simple alarm clock, let's hope the reward is a race to remember and that world title at last for Britain's Nigel Mansell. Well, the Australian Grand Prix at Adelaide is the last round of the 1986 World Championship. The title lies between three drivers, and the issue is very straightforward indeed. Nigel Mansell has a six-point lead over the defending champion Alain Prost, seven-point lead over his Williams teammate Nelson Piquet. Both Prost and Piquet have to win in Australia to keep alive their hopes. If Mansell can just finish in the top three, then he becomes the first British world champion since James Hunt ten years ago. Well, I'm delighted to say that uh, the Williams boss, Frank Williams, is able to join us in the studio once again, and we'll be talking to Frank a little bit later in the programme. But uh, while we're waiting the last couple of minutes for the satellite connection to be made to Australia, let's just remind you of Mansell's triumphant season. And anticipating his success, we paid a visit on him at home in the Isle of Man way back in March. It gave us an insight into the determination of the man. And from then on, the success just unfolded. Phil, this is the big year, um, big opportunity with a great team um, to do. It. 